Have you been looking into getting one of these gaming chairs recently? Well, if you have, make sure you watch the rest of this video before buying one because you may be getting ripped off. So I decided to make this video because recently I've been looking into getting a new gaming chair and after sitting in a bunch of different chairs and doing my research, I found that this is the most comfortable style of chair. But before I reveal the chair, let's talk some more about why gaming chairs may be a ripoff. One of the biggest issues with these chairs is that almost every review you see here on YouTube are sponsored videos, so of course people are going to say they love them. And before you say, well, hey, aren't you just doing the same thing? I actually bought this chair for myself and this is not a sponsored video in any way, so this is an actual genuine review. Next, most gaming chairs you may see on Amazon are all basically the same exact chair. The country where most of these chairs are created at enjoys attempting to replicate American products for cheap and cutting corners to produce it. Then after this, companies steal each other's designs and sell them at higher prices despite being almost the exact same chair. After seeing $100 gaming chairs and seeing $200 gaming chairs, they seem to all be the exact same, and they both have the same issues of lacking good cushions for your backside. So how do they determine whether their chair is worth $100 or $200 you may ask? I think they just roll dice to be honest, because the pricing for these chairs is just ridiculous and all over the place, and they usually are built cheaper than the average chair you would buy at Office Depot. When you buy a gaming chair, you're basically just buying the name, that seems to be it. Because they do not have any advantages of comfort when compared to other chairs. Their bottom cushions are known to be firm and thin, so the question is, are you buying a chair for comfort or looks? I would hope you would say comfort because you are going to be sitting in this chair every day for up to 5 hours. Why would you sacrifice your backside just so you can look like some cool YouTuber? Nobody cares about your chair, so treat yourself. That is why I came to the conclusion to buy this chair from Staples. This chair is a Terrence Mesh Task Chair, and boy is this chair comfortable. I think having the thick cushion on the bottom along with the mesh backside is the best way to go. I actually purchased the Hiken chair first, and I loved everything about it but how the mesh cushion felt. So I returned it and I got this chair instead, which is almost identical but it has a foam cushion. So why is this chair more comfortable? Well, it has better back support and it has a thicker cushion that will last you way longer. It also has better back support and doesn't promote slouching, and it has a way more comfortable headrest that feels natural and doesn't protrude. The Terrence chair also has a mesh backside so you won't get sweaty while gaming. This chair can even lean back, but it can't go back completely, but realistically, no one actually lays in their gaming chair besides for the memes of course. One issue I've been seeing with gaming chairs is the cheap leather they use as well, and they do not seem to age well. A lot of them show wear within months or even weeks, and some of the cushions just become flat or even just uncomfortable. So why buy a chair that won't last you and won't make you comfortable? Just think and get a chair that'll last you and make you more comfortable. And it is okay if your chair cannot do this. It is touching the truth.